Hi guys, I'm Riz and I'm going to show you guys how to cook authentic Punjabi food. Today we're cooking kima, but slightly different. Okay, so what we're going for here is hand cut leg mints. Okay, to keep it authentic. So, I've chopped this up, two lamb legs, by hand, in small pieces with the bones. Let's get cracking. 100 ml of sunflower oil as the meat will release fat. So now I'm gonna go with the onions. Crown spices. I can't stress enough, no ready-made powders, okay? So I've got cardamom, cumin seeds, cinnamon, clove and peppercorns, freshly ground, tablespoon of each in the oil. That's all we're doing for now. I'm gonna let this simmer until the onions soften up. What's important now is the heat goes down. We need to keep the heat down, okay, so the onions release water. The most important thing. The steam that's created makes the onions dissolve. Okay, that's the main point. We wanna dissolve the onions. The whole point of this exercise is for us to fuse the oil with the onions and the spices that we put in. That's all we're trying to do at this stage. So, we're 10 to 15 minutes in, okay? As you can see, our onions are still breaking down. We don't want to fry the onions. That's the main thing here, can you see? So we don't want to brown them. As you can see, the onions are slowly solidifying. That's the whole point. We want to dissolve the onions into the oil. So, ready for the garlic. As you can see, the onions are now where we want them to be. They've caramelized, okay? But they're not fried. That's what's very important. Caramelize, but not fried. There we go. So we're still simmering at the same heat. I haven't touched that flame, okay? You know? It's low, and we've kept it low. So right now, you can see that our garlic, onions, without masala, is solidifying, caramelizing nicely. I cannot express enough, we are not frying, okay? So slow simmer. At this stage, and it's very important. We're gonna go up in with our masalas. Now, I'll put on screen everything I've got here. It's freshly ground, nothing out of a packet, okay? So you'll see on there, what I've put in here, you'll see it on screen, very important, only for one minute, only, okay? So if we go in with this, including our salt. So everything, all our salt and spices in here now, same heat, just for one minute. We don't want to burn the masala. The whole point here is, a lot of people make this mistake. They put the tomatoes before the masala. Not an idea. It has to go in the oil for one minute. What that will do is it will fuse the masala with the oil. Fusing the masala with the oil will stop heartburn. Because what we're doing here is we're cooking that masala before the tomatoes and the meat goes in. Very important. Right, so we cooked our garlic for 10 minutes with the onions. After that, one minute in, just with the masala, all done. Now, for the main bit. See that we've created a nice paste here. Our onions are caramelized, ginger's in, with our first edge of masala, and we've got a thick paste now. Two legs of lamb, with the bones, bone marrow, we've already made, in it goes. At the same time, eight tomatoes, put in a blender and I grinded them, okay? Simple as that, no skin to take out. Eight tom plum tomatoes, as ripe as possible, as cheap as possible, in they go at the same time. We're gonna give this a good mix. You guys wanna notice I've not touched the flame. We're still low, it's very important. I can't express enough Keep the heat low, okay? It's very important. If you rush for time, get a takeaway. Don't do this. You're talking two, two and a half hours here. Take your time, take pride in it. Right, heat low, we don't want that mince that we've chopped up. It's taken me a lot of time to chop that mince up. If I cook it fast, it's gonna clump together. Gonna go slow and fuse. 
90 minutes, give it a stir every 10 minutes. Lid on, in steam. Right, I've got 90 minutes, Gimar's cooking, I've got six hungry lads here, so I'm gonna make a quick prawn glai. Just a bit of a surprise, something special. Very important, it's gotta be rapeseed, oil, or sesame oil. We're going in with about 100 mils. Glai prawns, very easy, 20 minutes, we're done. What we're doing is, in the oil, prawns will go in, okay? We want to very slightly crisp them. We don't want rubbery prawns, a slight crisp, 40 to 50% cook, we're gonna pull them back out of here. Right, prawns, garlic, four tomatoes, blended, spices, and a garnish. Final garnish for the prawns, onion seeds. Okay, oil simmering. In got the prawns. Prawns in sesame oil only. It's gonna give a quick fry. What we're looking for is a nice orange twang to the prawns, as you can see. These are tiger prawns, black tiger prawns from any decent shop, frozen, 700 grams, two packets, one and a half kgs, in oil, just a quick flash fry, we just want to get, get them slightly orange, that's all. As soon as the prawns start turning orange, I'm gonna turn the heat down, remove them from the oil. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the same oil the reason why I've cooked them here now is because obviously we can't cook prawns in a kalai like we can with chicken and lamb because they're cooking five minutes. So remove them now. However, we've caught the flavor in the oil. I'm gonna use the same oil to put my garlic in and my spices, tomatoes, very easy dish. Doesn't take long at all. Like I said, while the kima is being cooked, this will be ready. Prawns are out. We've got our sesame oil here. Heat down to a minimum. Garlic. One and a half kgs of prawns. One and a half tablespoons of garlic. Just a slight pinkness in the prawns. We're ready to go. Fry the garlic. Let that go crisp brown. This time heat up, not down. So, as before, this time, no onions, no masalas. Garlic's nice and brown, but we don't want to overkill it, okay? At this stage, again, you'll see up on the screen, in got the spices. Once again, cannot express enough, freshly ground. Nothing from a packet. It's hassle, but worth doing. see I'll put paprika in here Kashmiri red chili that's what gives it that, the brightness look at that this time heat down okay heats down masala goes in as I said before we don't want to burn it we put the masala before the tomatoes because we don't want heart there so we're going with the tomatoes okay now that's Four tomatoes, plum tomatoes. I've ground them whole with skin. Very simple. It's a very simple dish. Anyone can make this. Two or three stages to it. Now, again, flame is low. We want that to fuse. Okay. As you can see, sesame oil, the spices, which I've told you about, you see on the screen, tomatoes go in. I'm gonna cover this five minutes. Yeah, so we're five minutes in. Again, we're letting those tomatoes fuse with that garlic and that oil and the spices. As you can see, I'm gonna wait for that oil to come up, really important. In about two and a half minutes, once these prawns are ready, I'll be going in with some bullet chilies ginger sticks, butter, and a teaspoon of um, onion seeds. 
When baking prawns, there's no margin for error. They have to be just perfect. We don't want them rubbery, and yet we don't want them undercooked, okay? One way you can tell, is pick up a prawn, okay? And you'll see that if I try to stretch that prawn, there's no give in there. So we still, we know it's not cooked yet. Right, so we had our prawns on simmer for the last five minutes. I'm gonna check. As you can see, they're, they're nearly there, okay? At this point, we're gonna go in with our ginger, bullet chilies and butter. Teaspoon of um, onion seeds. Give it some color and some texture. Again, close the lid for a minute or two, just let it fuse. At this stage, we just want the bullet chilies to just soften up a bit, okay? The great thing about bullet chilies is, they're not that fiery, but they've got a nice aroma, okay? So the point here is we want our bullet chilies just to soften up a little bit. I'll just slip them slightly before putting them in. With the butter and the garlic, soften up slightly we don't want to kill the prawn we want it to have a bite and a crunch okay so at this stage take the lid off and we've got everything that we need in there okay now we're going to give it a quick blast just to make sure we're drying off any excess water those prawns are now 95 percent cooked okay we're going to keep the crunch but we mustn't let them get rubbery With our prawns, those of you who are not sure, pick one up. Look at that. Yeah. Finally, as we always do, coriander, just to garnish. Done. At this point, we're cooking the mince. It's happily cooking away. Right, let's check that bone marrow, guys. See how we're getting on. Here we are. So, there's a little bit of meat still attached to the bone, so we know the mince is not ready, okay? It should just wipe right off. Again, bone marrow. We're waiting for those juices to be released into the mince got a little way to go okay so the bones are not just for flavor but they give us indication as to how we're getting on yeah we're nearly there lads are hungry half an hour we're done i'm gonna give it a little bit of crunch and flavor okay so when we're 10 minutes away onions will go in five minutes in follow with the ginger now this ginger here we will only want it half cooked gives it that kick and that zest Three minutes after that, we go in with the bullet chilies. Right there, a minute before, just a minute before the butter, those peppers, and we garnish ginger sticks, coriander. We're ready. We're getting there. Can you see it's softening up? Yeah? We want that to disappear. Okay, at this point, we go in with the onions and bullet chilies. There we go. We really want these bullet chilies to soften up. I haven't gone with a lot of chili. Okay, um, you can check my recipe, you'll see up on the screen. We've gone with one tablespoon of red chili, one paprika. So we got heavy with the bullet chilies. The reason why I haven't sliced them, I'm gonna leave them whole, is because they'll retain the power. Okay, so I don't wanna cut them, keep them whole. Some people don't want chili, others do. The aroma is amazing. Bullet chilies, here we go. So, there we go, we're gonna give it a good old mix. Good old mix. I want to catch that flavor, so the lid, we want to go straight on with the lid. To catch it all inside, okay? Ginger, coriander. At the end, a little bit of pepper. Again, just for the aroma. Come on, come along, come here, yeah? Onions, bullet chilies, yeah? At this point, and you'll probably wonder why now, 
I'm gonna go on with this ginger. Not the garnish, there's water in here, yeah? We want that water to release into that mince because the idea here is we want all the water evaporated, okay? And we want that mince to simmer in its natural fat. Remember what I said earlier, we're not using any artificial fats, a little bit of sunflower oil just to steam those onions. We want to keep it healthy, we want to cook this mince in its own fat. That bone marrow I was talking about earlier. Yeah? So, magic. Wow, wow, wow. That looks amazing. So, we've got our matchstick ginger here. Gives it zest, a bit of color. Come on, guys. Here we go. 200 grams of butter. Okay. That's going in. And with some pepper. There we go. That butter is really gonna bring it up. There we go. Now that butter is my choice, I've added it, you guys don't have to. Guys, I want you guys to do better than me and repost to me your results. Love you. Okay, so now, finally, in we go with the coriander. There's no such thing as less coriander, okay? It's been a long night and we're done. If you like what I've done, like and share. Please do. Tell your family and friends, I love you. Good night.